All right. So, hello everyone. Hello all citizens. Making a quick video before I go to bed. Um, about the new Drake ship that is supposedly going to be announced at the at the start of Drake Defense Con or at the end of Invictus Launch Week. Invictus Fleet Week, whichever you prefer. Um, so I made a little bullet point. So point list about what I think it'll be. I think it'll be about halfway between the Connie sized and slash Corsair size and a Polaris size, so about hammerhead size. I could I could conceivably see see it being about as big as a Polaris, however. Um, for reasons I'll get to later. I do think because it's ILW that it will be combat or Drake Defense Con actually, that it will be combat focused. I don't see it likely being an industrial ship. It could happen, but if it does, well then all the rest of this is butt kiss. Oh, this is also butt kiss. All, all this is butt kiss. Um, I think it will punch above its weight, like every ship nowadays does apparently. Maybe with four or five turrets with two size five guns each. Two size five guns each or so. Maybe with some smaller ones dotted around. I think it'll have um, weak shielding, but a decent hull. Fairly standard for most Drake ships. Uh, I think it'll have low or no missiles. So, for example, if it's a Hammerhead competitor, Perseus competitor, both of those have good amounts of missiles in the case of the Hammerhead and torpedoes in the case of the Perseus. The Perseus is 20 size 5 torpedoes. If I remember correctly, the Hammerhead has a bunch, uh, you can configure however you want, but I believe stock. It comes with a bunch of size threes, I don't remember how many, like 24, I think, maybe 32, I think it's 32 actually. Um, I think it'll be slow in a straight line, the new Drake ship will be slow in a straight line. Um, I think it'll handle like a truck trying to move a small island. Once again, this, this is definitely um, a standard for Drake, it, they do not make fast turning ships. Um, I think I'll have a low SU space. I do think there'll be some, though. I think my guess would be probably around 10 to 20 with a, with a max of, like, 75. I don't see it going any higher than 75. Um, I think... This, this is really a joke, but I just had to include it. I think it'll be named the Drake Steel. <laughs> um, the, the Drake strategically transfer equipment to an alternate location. <laughs> because that's because it's Drake. So, yes. I, if I had to go give guesses for actual length and height and width, I think it'll probably be about 105 meters long. Probably be about 63 meters wide and maybe... Uh, these are all meters, I don't know if I said feet. Um, and probably about 35-40 meters tall. But those, that's my guess for dimensions. It'll probably be... I think it'll be either shaped someone like the caterpillar, so like blocky, or I think it'll be shaped more like the Percy with it being kind of like Star Destroyer shaped or um, Dorito shaped. Space Dorito. So yes. Thank you all for doing this, for listening to my rambling. If you all would like to leave your own predictions in the comments please do so i am happy to think i will have, be happy to read them and i'm curious what everyone else thinks that the ship will be and of yes and of course this will probably age extremely poorly once we realize or once we find out what the ship actually is because i have no clue aside from the fact that i really highly doubt it's the kraken i doubt the ship is going to be that big all right see y'all have a good one, and enjoy your launch week. I'm 7 Citizens.